All praises to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, I'm going to talk about pride in this video here. And in this first clip, I'm going to show um, the musician called The Weeknd. This is from 2011. Some people may recognize Tonight in the building, she's so lovely right here. No, she's so lovely. She's so lovely, man. She's so lovely. You know what it is. Check it out. She's so lovely.com, man. Let them know what time it is. That's itself. She's a cappella. Let them know what time it is. Weekend. Weekend, baby. Weekend. You don't know what's in store. Don't you know what you're here for? Listen, Joey Styles killed it. Big inspiration right here, baby. You already know what it is. He's gonna blow. We're all family, man. Family matters, you know. Well, he's gonna blow. Through who we're with tonight in the building. So we're she's so lovely guys. right here. <laughs> and we all know. Well, you may not know, but you know the weekend. Whoever that guy is, I don't know his name, but you know he's 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 pretty successful. You well, know, which goes into uh, Matthew twenty three twelve. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So, when you when you act like you're better than people, and you know, because knowledge puffeth up, you know, we're gonna go into uh, First Corinthians eight one. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up. But charity edifieth. So um, yeah, the more the more you learn, the more you come into the, into the truth. You know, right now you might be you know laughing at people and exalting yourself over them. It's not something that I'm doing particularly at this moment, but you know I'm kind of in that told you soul spirit. But I'm trying to be humble about it. Cause at the end of the day, you know, the most I can always just slap you for thinking, you know, you know something when you don't or for trying to exalt yourself over other people. You have to be very careful in what spirit you're in. You have to be very careful when you're judging matters and when you're judging other people, you know, because you have to start at your own house first. You know, I just say um, charity starts at home. You know, so you have to be very careful about how you judge matters because you may judge uh, somebody and you might think you know something, but you really don't know the matter. I mean, this is why even certain times I've said, you know, because uh, I'm from West Africa, so technically speaking, I'm a Hamite, even though I don't feel in the spirit of a Hamite. But, you know, some people say, you know, uh, there's Israelites in West Africa. Some people say they're not. I remember speaking to somebody on Instagram, and um, he was talking about having more than one wife. And I didn't have a problem with him saying that, but I just, you know, I... I I just basically said at the end of the day there's no point having multiple wives if you know you can't look after them or you live with your mom you know and especially in this day and age where women are going off what's the point of having you know three or four defiled women it's not like you're getting all virgins you know what I mean why are you gonna go through the stress of having to look after four or five women or whatever how many wives you have when we know this isn't the society to be able to do that it's not like there's not enough people on the earth you're not trying to replenish nothing you know, and the dude thought I was coming at him, you know, and he ended up cursing me out, calling me a Hamite and all of this stuff. So I'm a bit apprehensive with getting too close to people because, you know, as soon as you kind of step on somebody's foot, they kind of come out their self and, you know, they act all demonic and think they know what you're going through. So, you know, he exalted himself and in the end he ended up getting humble because, you know, he had over 10k followers or whatever. His page ended up getting deleted, you know. The people he's dealing with would just turn out to be full-blown demons. So, you know, in that situation, he really should have humbled himself. But he exalted himself and he was acting like he was this guy and he knew all of this. But, you know, he didn't. So, you know, you have to be very careful with with how you treat people, you know, when you're, when you're walking this walk. Because even the Lord has humbled himself because he's taken away... You know his influence in you know in a sense he he's kind of let his left hand rule for you know the last three thousand years. The Lord has humbled himself and allowed man to do or you know Esau to do whatever he wants to do. We see in Isaiah thirty three ten. Now will I rise, saith the Lord. Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift myself up. So now people are seeking the Lord. You know the Lord is beginning to be exalted in on all corners in the earth or in all corners of the earth. 
you know, and he humbled himself and, you know, he, he kept back and he let people do what they're doing so he could turn around and say, Lord, this is what happens when you forsake my words and my law and you go your own way. You know, so you kind of have to be in the same spirit as the Most High, you know, and Yahweh Shai. You have to humble yourself and, you know, not talk like you know everything because, you know, you may have 100% truth, but every man's been given a portion of the spirit, you know. You don't have 100% spirit. So, yeah. Oh, did did I just did I did I just do that? Oh, well. uh, we're gonna go into another one here. I, I call you this a woman. nigger. You're a nigger, nasty fucking nigger. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> is it? You called me a nigger. Go ahead. I, I called you a nigger. You're a nigger. Nasty fucking nigger. Okay. For complex news, I'm there. Talk to this fucking nigger You're not, right now. She's I'm a fuck to her husband. Me. He scares she the shit out of Anthony. Why, Lynn? You wanted to run his mouth, talk about me being a nasty mother. Fucking really? I said that. that. She, she can't do nothing to him. She's calling her husband, dude. Nasty fucking nigga. Like, if he wants to come out of the car and slap her, there'd literally be nothing she could do. So he could have easily humbled her if he wanted to. Because you want to put it on YouTube, trying to act hard because I called him a racist. He's not even acting hard. He's in his car. You're acting hard. You're in his face. Oh, she's not done yet. She ain't gonna break it, dude. Go ahead. He's just like <laughs> he needed her. He was like mute. All this time, she was in defensive of poor children who were terrified at the sound of an engine starting. But she's not worried about raising them in a world full of unwarranted, toxic ass backward tape, as instilled by her. Someone's running for Mother of the Year. But if there's any benefit to the man capturing this moment on camera, he saws hypocrisy right there. Uh, we'll just go to this one quick. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're just trying to go home, you know. Right there. I understand that, you sure. can film me. That's okay. fine. I understand that, but you're blocking me. Into my here. building. Okay. And okay. It's my building as well, so I need you to get out of my way. Okay, <laughs> I don't need to say that information. So excuse me, ma'am. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm a white woman. That's your discretion. You're uncomfortable. I rule everything. I need you to move out of my way, please. No. Man, please stop like, touching. No. I'm not touching she, you. She, she'll be the I'm same person that's saying, well, you know what? I, I feared for my safety. I feared for my life. I felt intimidated. He was being aggressive. He was being aggressive. I live here. You're blocking the door. What you in See, this is what I... What do you live in? These dudes have a lot more patience than me, man. I would, I would, I would have just moved. I would have picked her up and moved her to one side and went about my business, man. You don't have a key fob. You are no, no. If you have that, this goes on for like five minutes, man. You're not security. You're not the property manager. You're not Mike. No, but I live here. Okay, now she literally follows him. And if you do, then I would like to meet. She's a. I'm not being rude. I'm not being disrespectful. You yeah, you are. She followed Doddy onto the lift, you know. Look, she's on the lift with him, following him. <laughs> oh man, she probably wanted to do or something because this is just atrocious. No, I want to know who you're going to I want to know who you are and uh, how you're here. I am. <laughs> she ain't even trying to hide it. Because I would like to know who's friends. Got nothing to do friends. with her. Why are you on the land? Because you're in America. Well, why? Are you, what are you doing there? What are you doing I'm over there in that like land? He was just like, no, 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 no. Not interested. Not trying. Follow Donny all the way to his yard. Look at. I would like to introduce myself. No, no. He's in his apartment. pretty stupid on video. Have a nice night. And my name is Mr. Tolls. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> got a mute. She's like, oh, don't pull up. You know? Uh, this is. From black separatists on the sidewalk oh. in Philadelphia. We're in a battle. 
here in our country to preserve what white America started from the get. To a national socialist in north central yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Do you believe that most of the evil in the he world has comes to protect from his country? Currently, absolutely. <laughs> to an accused anti Muslim <laughs> the Bucks County. You're in the Indian should have protected their country, you know what I mean? See, what's real funny is they're quite, the equate, you know, the Hebrew Israelites with New Jersey, group, Delaware, white Maryland nationalist group. Tell us how many people are in his ranks either. You're not but supposed he to count. In Trump, his movement you know, feels like it has a call, voice. I chose not census. to back him and not to breathe his name until he was elected because I didn't want to cause him damage. That's how bad I wanted him in there. What's uh, the Trump <laughs> <campaign>? <laughs> I can't take these people seriously. Look, just look, just look at them exhorting themselves. Now, as, as soon as Corona hit, look at it. There's no fruit or veg. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little cry in there. <laughs> I'm critical care now. She'd be the it's same dude trying to not let, you know, so-called black men into his own house. And now no she cried because she can't no get a fruit and veg. I just don't know how I'm supposed to stay healthy. <laughs> and those people when people eat your lips stripping the legs. <laughs> you just need to stop it. Stop it, guys. And people like me that are gonna be looking after you <laughs> when you're at your lowest. You just stop it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> see, see, you see that pride? See how that pride got brought low? <laughs> Said Proverbs sixteen eighteen Pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fool. You know what what more I need to say. Oh, let me let me just get my KVG here. It says, you know, uh Corinthians, first Corinthians two ten fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned so these people don't care about judgment when they're exalting themselves and acting like they're better than people but as soon as you know something bad happened they start crying breaking down you know and that's pride going before destruction and then puffing themselves up uh, proverbs seventeen twenty seven. He that have knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. So, you know, we shouldn't be prideful. You know, you should be as a man who knows and speaks few words. You know, make make your point and move on. You know, don't don't be going around acting like you're better than people. Because I know it's very, very easy to get into that spirit, especially when people are being ignorant and scoffing at you and trying to be disrespectful and they're patronizing you. And you have all these demons attacking you. It makes you just wanna, you know, say whatever and do whatever. But you know, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to reign in your spirit. You have to reign in that wrath. Oh, Proverbs seventeen twenty-seven. Have you gone through that? Ecclesiastes nineteen twenty-four. He that have small understanding and fear of the Most High is better than one that have much wisdom. And transgressive the law of the most high you know so regardless of how much you know if you're not keeping the law and you're, you you don't have any works it doesn't you, you know you don't know as much as somebody who may be a dumbass but does his you know he puts his best foot forward and you always have to put your best foot forward and a part of that is is being humble because you know the that pride spirit is is a mother you have to be very careful with, with how you walk and what you say and how you treat people. I'm going to enter the last precept here. For better is it that, it that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, then thou be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. You know, and this goes into the... I, I think that's the... <coughs> That was the page I accidentally, you know, deleted. You know, uh, talking about the man who was um, 
in the presence of princes and he exalted himself and they basically moved him out the way but you know when you humble yourself and people can see that you're a man of understanding they'll exalt you you'll naturally come to you know the na your natural place in the world you know and right now we're going through birthing pains of, of a new kingdom so we have to be very very careful in how we walk and we have to be humble and we have to make sure that we know we're representing a higher power and with that let's say all praises to the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shine